Hey everybody, welcome to PhysioEd, I'm Cam. So today I have a couple of our resistance bands. You can purchase these at physioed.com. Uh, we have two different sizes, so there's a light and a heavy one. Yellow is going to be the lighter, red's going to be the heavier one. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll kind of understand what that heavy versus light uh, differentiation means. So we'll start with the lighter one, which is the yellow one. And you're going to notice that these bands have a uh, canvas casing around them. It's kind of bunched up because when you stretch them out, you notice it's going to be get getting a little bit flatter. But the great thing about that is that it gives you a little bit more traction so that if you step on these, which we'll be doing in a moment, or if you have to attach these to something, they're less likely to move around. Because these are available a lot of places, but these ones specifically have a little bit more uh, versatility in making sure that they're not going to snap or they're also not going to uh, slide out from underneath your feet if you're doing certain exercises. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of do a little warm up for the shoulders. So these are really good for more kind of rehabby type exercises, but also just for some general rotator cuff strengthening. And the position of your hand is going to really change the dimensions of these exercises in a lot of ways. So you're going to notice I started with an overhand grip, I wrapped it around once, and then I took a uh, underhand grip. So I'm going to start by getting a little bit of tension on the band and lifting my chest up towards the band. Now all I'm going to do here is pull the band tight across my chest. So exhaling as you pull the band tight. So let's do about 10 of these. The great thing about these resistance bands is if this is too much tension for you, you can always just bring your hands a little bit wider. Now this is going to be easier. On the other hand, if you want to walk them a little bit closer together, this is going to be quite a bit harder. So that's really using the elastic to your benefit. Let's go for three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. So conversely, if that wasn't hard enough for you and you wanted to go even deeper, you could take the heavier band and use that one instead. So let's do the same thing, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep the overhand grip. You can wrap it around your hands if you want to. In this case, I'm just going to let them hang. So with the overhand grip, I'm going to bring my elbows away from my body a little bit. So you don't want them too close and too tight like this. Elbows away a little bit, shoulders down. Get a nice firm grip. Again, that canvas bag is going to help. Pulling out. So I'm taking a little rotation here. So rather than with the straight arms like I was before, I'm keeping my elbows in tight to my body, and I'm pulling back like I'm trying to touch my thumbs through the wall behind me. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and a one. All right, go ahead and rest, shake it out a little bit. So we can also work into some curling and rowing motions, which uh, it really comes in handy if you don't have any other equipment, if you don't have a gym membership or anything like that, or you are working it out at home. This is a good way to work your back muscles in a way that's very similar to how you might work them with a cable pull machine, but you can just do it with your body weight in these bands. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna anchor either one or both heels in front of me. So with the wider heels, this is gonna be a little bit more tension. Notice I'm slightly forward on my chair so that when I come back, I'm not gonna whack the chair with my elbows. I'm gonna get each handle firmly in my hand. So thumb over fingers grip, lifting chest up, lean forward just a little bit, and then just pull the handles back towards your rib cage. So notice being careful not to pull up like this, this can be kind of a dicey position for your shoulders. So in this case, we're going for from mostly straight arms to bent arms lifting your chest forward rather than collapsing down. So chest up. So again, this is pretty easy for me, so I could switch the red band if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep going with these little pulls. Let's do five more. The great thing about these bands is that you can just keep going with them for as long as you need to. This is pretty minimal resistance, so by doing more repetitions, you're gonna be working your body, but it's just less weight in exchange for a little bit more more repetitions. All right, go ahead and rest. Walk your feet back. So for the next one, I'm going to switch to the red band just to change it up a little bit. So we're going to do uh, biceps curls, but we're going to change the position of our hands again just to kind of see how the hand position influences the way our shoulders are working. So typically when you see somebody do a bicep curl with a dumbbell or something like that, they're doing it like this with their palm facing their face. In this case, I'm actually going to grab a little bit lower down beneath the handle where the uh, handle meets the band. I'm going to do that on both hands. So this is called a hammer curl. So in this case, when I wind up in the start position, I'm kind of making this thumbs up shape, but then just wrapping my thumb over the uh, tip of my fingers. So lifting your chest up and then just 
curling. So again, it's important not to shrug your way into this, so shoulders are back and down, just going from mostly straight arms to mostly bent arms. This time we're coming more up and down rather than pulling back. Good, let's just go for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest. You can shake your shoulders out a little bit. I have not released yet because I'm gonna do one more set of these. So since this band is a little bit heavier, it's a little bit harder. So in turn, it's gonna make you a little bit stronger, but it is a little bit more challenging, so we're doing less reps. So I'm gonna go for one more set of these. So shoulders back, lift and chest up, lean forward just a bit, make sure that you have the band firmly underneath your feet. And let's just do eight more curls. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rest. All right, go ahead and step off the band. I don't know about you, but my shoulders and my arms are feeling a little bit tired. So we're gonna take this heavier band and we're actually gonna do a little lower body exercise. So I wrap the band around the backs of my thighs. Again, there's a little gap between the back of my calf and the front of the chair. So you can wrap the band around the backs of your thighs then over the top. Now from here, we're just getting enough tension on the band. So I'm grabbing in that same place and I'm just anchoring the band down. So I'm not even really, I'm just gripping it. I'm not stressing my shoulders out at all. The resistance now is in the lower body. So my legs are pushing out against the band. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do a little sidestepping motion. So just one foot at a time, just doing a little tap, side to side. Let's do four more on each side. And remember with all these exercises, this is a short, shorter class, so you can always come back and do more. These are all just suggestions. There's a lot of things that you can do with this equipment. One more on each side and rest back in the middle. So there's still this element. Notice if I relax my legs, they're gonna come in like this. We're still fighting the resistance of the bands to push our knees out. So my knees are in line over my toes. So this is a really good position to start a squat in. So we're still keeping that tension so the hands are just kind of holding the band in place. As you lean forward, press down into your heels, take a big breath in. Now with your exhale, stand up. So you're gonna notice as you come into the squat position, again, that motion of your knees drawing in, your, the band is kind of compelling your knees in like this. We wanna try and resist that. So you're pushing your knees out, heels down. Let's do that a couple more times. Go ahead and sit down again. Now a little forward lean, chest up. Exhale, press into the band as you stand. Let's do two more times. Inhale down. Exhale, lean, press, squeeze. Last one. Exhale, go ahead and stand up. This time we're gonna remain standing. Just carefully bring the bands back around until the tension is lessened. You can step the band in front of you or just bring it in front of you whatever way feels safe for you. Let's come back to the upper body for one more movement. So I'm actually gonna switch back to the yellow band because this is again a little bit more of a rehabilitation exercise. So you can fold the band over a couple times or if you want to, you can just grab it. So I'm, I'm just pinching it between my hands. So elbows close together, hands a little bit wider. So it's almost like you're trying to make a W with your arms or a large V. So from here, get a little tension on the band right in front of your eye line. And then you're just gonna draw your hands up about eight inches and then back down again. So notice my elbows aren't flaring out. I'm trying to draw my elbows in and draw my hands outward. Good. So as you go through this motion, just feeling the shoulders working, nice tall spine, three, two, and one, rest. Shake your shoulders out, see how they're feeling. Maybe you can come back to one more set of those after we uh, come back to the legs for a moment. So I'm gonna unwind the strap. This time I'm gonna step onto it. And when you step onto the strap, you're gonna feel, it's actually, it's actually pretty comfortable and you're gonna notice that texture of the strap keeps it in place. So I'm stepping onto it with both feet. My knees are in line with my toes. And then I'm gonna crisscross the band in front of my hips. Shoulders back. So it's a little pull, so it's a little bit of that rowing motion again, pushing my hips forward into the handles. So from here, I'm just gonna take a big step out and then feet matching. So notice when I come back to the center, my feet are roughly about as wide as the legs of this chair. I'm gonna take that big step out and then chair with stance to the side. Good, so stepping side to side and then just coming back. All you have to do is one step in each direction, especially if you live in a smaller place 
or you're doing this in a room that doesn't allow a lot of movement, this is a really good way to get both sides, but not having to take up a lot of room. Good, let's just do it one more time on each side, chest high, press your hips into the handles as much as you can throughout, and then coming back to the middle. Okay, with a little bend in the knees, go ahead and straighten the arms a little bit. You can set yourself back down on the chair. You're gonna go ahead and uh, release the strap. So that's our short workout, illustrating some of the things you can do with these resistance bands. There's a lot more that you can do with these, so this is just a short video demonstrating how these ones might be able to help you out in your fitness journey. So again, my name is Cam. Thank you for joining us at PhysioEd. Hope to see you again soon.